Hello and welcome to The Softer Side. I'm your storytelling life coach, Shelley Carney. Today's topic is Group Support Advantage. Thank you for watching The Softer Side Storytelling Therapy and Life Coaching. Please leave a comment and let me know your biggest challenge when it comes to stress relief and what topics you would like to see in the future. Subscribe and click on the bell to be front row center for new videos. Join us in the friendly, supportive live chat room for our live coaching videos and share the Softer Side channel with your friends and family members who need to reduce the stress and anxiety in their lives. Today we're talking about how alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much, especially when we're working on personal growth within a group of people who have all the same issues, and we can work on them together, knowing that we're not alone. People who gather to share common problems and experiences associated with a particular problem, condition, illness, or personal circumstance are the most likely to overcome challenges and enjoy the journey. In a support group, people are able to talk with others who are like themselves, who truly understand what they're going through, and can share the type of practical insights that can only come from first-hand experience. When you announce your goals to others, along with the steps you'll take to achieve them, the social risk involved in failing can hold you more accountable to your plan. At the same time, when you achieve those steps and share that success with your support group, they cheer and further inspire you to reach for goals you would not have otherwise tried on your own. If you're facing a stressful life change, you don't have to go it alone. Belonging to a support group who can provide guidance and assistance is a transformative vehicle for achieving your goals more quickly and easily. Growth and development in isolation is incredibly difficult, lonely, and easy to quit. The bigger your goals, the more social support you will ultimately need to be successful. Being coached with a group of your peers will take you to the next level of understanding and application of whatever you most want to work on. Most people feel intimidated to have a private coaching session because they're not really sure what to say or do. When you are part of a coaching group, there is less pressure. You don't have to prepare for the session bring a topic or questions, or be able to articulate anything. You have the opportunity to learn from others and to feel that you belong. You are not alone. Group coaching is a very active, participatory situation where you receive tools and exercises, ask questions, and go through processes together. So at the end of the session, you will have witnessed emotional growth in yourself, other members, and the group as a whole. A group coaching session is your opportunity to be yourself and know that is enough. Your coaching group will hold space without judgment and help you see your own thinking and how it affects your feelings, actions, and results. Your coaching group can provide the friendship, support, and love that surrounds you with the encouragement you need to finally succeed. C.S. Lewis said, Friendship is born at that moment when one person says to another, What? You too? I thought I was the only one. Amy Poehler said, Find a group of people who challenge and inspire you, Spend a lot of time with them, and it will change your life. True friends are the ones who lift you up when no one else has noticed you've fallen. Now let's hear the story, The Voice of Encouragement. One beautiful fall morning, a friendly group of frogs was traveling through the woods together on their way to their favorite pond. Hop, hop, croak. Hop, hop, ribbit. 
Suddenly, two of the frogs on the far left of the group, Flip and Splash, accidentally fell into a deep pit. Hop, hop, plop, plop. Alarmed by the two frogs disappearing from sight, the other frogs crowded around the pit and saw how very deep it was. It is so very dark and cold. I think I see them way down there. They will never make it back out of that terrible hole. They are goners for sure. But one frog, a very positive and headstrong frog named Emily, disagreed. They can do it. They just have to try. Flip and Splash untangled themselves at the bottom of the pit. They were confused and frightened. What shall we do? Can we make it back out of this pit? said Flip. Oh, no. We are doomed to die here at the bottom of this terrible hole, answered Splash. The two frogs froze in fear. That's when Emily croaked out, Jump! As a group, all the frogs at the top of the hole began to chant, Jump! 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 Flip and Splash began to jump as hard as they could. Each time they missed reaching the top of the hole, they became a little more desperate. Some of the frogs noticed that the two in the pit were not making it to the top, and they began to doubt, grumble, and mumble. They will never make it out. Those frogs are doomed. That's the end of it for them. Splash heard this negative talk from the other frogs and gave up trying to jump. He sank into a stupor in the cold muck at the bottom of the hole, feeling depressed and alone. Emily croaked out even louder, Don't give up! You can do it! You're almost there! Flip refused to listen to the doubters and jumped as hard and as high as he possibly could. He believed in himself and focused on Emily's encouraging words. He committed to using every last bit of strength he had to make it out of that hole. Meanwhile, Splash had given up trying and decided to live at the bottom of the dark pit he had fallen into for the rest of his life. Giving up is easier than continuing to fail, he moaned. Emily and a few of the other frogs continued to croak out encouragement. Jump! Don't give up! We're right here, just inches away! With one final leap of faith, Flip bounded out of the hole, and the other frogs cheered and helped him recover from his ordeal. They called out to Splash, but he refused their words of encouragement. He had listened to the doubt of others, but the doubt in his own mind was the loudest of all. What do you think? Do you listen to the doubt in your own mind, or do you look for support and encouragement to help you keep trying? In what ways can we support others and accept their support so we can all rise to the top together? If you're going through a difficult time, it's a really good opportunity for you to reach out and to grow a support group. Even if you're not going through a difficult time, if you have a big goal you're trying to achieve, maybe you're trying to lose weight or grow a business or something that's just a little bit out of your reach and you just need that group support to help you move forward more quickly and more easily, maybe it's time to look for a support group. There are many groups online who can help you with a variety of different goals or to just get through really difficult times. We are going to be starting on the softer side, a group for people who are trying to lose weight. That will be starting in January and I hope that you will join us at that time.
Look for more information coming your way in the next couple of months. If you would like to get on the mailing list, just simply go to esofterside.com, sign up there, and there's a lot of great content there while you're waiting. If you would like to download the slides that go with this story, you can also find them on esofterside.com. Thank you so much for watching. For The Softer Side, I'm your storytelling life coach, Shelley Carney. I want to share with you an amazing free mini course I've developed for my subscribers to reduce stress and achieve inner peace. This mini course provides tips, exercises, and guided meditations to further enhance relaxation and bring calm to a frazzled life. Simply visit eSofterSide.com to get your free mini course. And while you're there, you can also schedule a free coaching call with me to address your personal needs when it comes to releasing pain and achieving happiness. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Peace be with you. Namaste.